beautiful. Thank you. How are you feeling being at this incredible no. venue with this Good. amazing it's nice. film? Yeah, it's a change. Traipsing around Leicester Square. <laughs> Sound like a tramp. Sounds like I live in Leicester Square. <laughs> I do. Um, you know, it's nice. You have done so many amazing TV series and just so much good stuff. Was this as enjoyable as it looked? It just looked like so much fun. Oh, it's lovely. Sets are always lovely with Roger. Always the nicest people, easiest jobs, everything. Um, yeah, so lovely, so delivered. Yeah, it's great. What do you think he'd be thinking right now? Well, I hope he'd be really proud. I know he'd be really proud. I know he loved all these people, all his cast and crew, Helen and Jim. So, uh, yeah. I don't know, maybe be really proud. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you about Helen and Jim. Are they as like, legendary as I think they're they horrid. Might be? Yeah. They're horrid. Um, they're evil, malicious. They're quite frightening. No, they're not. Oh, look at him there. No, they're lovely. Amy well, was saying that Jim wanted to be a kid, but like he wanted to go to the pub with everybody, wanted to keep up with all the kids. Did you have much kind of downtime? We did until we get to the courtroom scenes, then we were all quite loud. And Jim seemed to be buried in a crossword because it was all. We were all shoved in a room together. You don't put actors all in a room together. We were dis dis disgustingly behaved. Uh, very loud. Uh, so yeah, at that point, Jim was just reading the paper. And since lockdown, has your view of this world changed now? Does it make you appreciate it more, the fact that you're in these things? Uh, I feel very appreciative that I'm still working, but then I've always been very appreciative that, I'm, that I work and get jobs. I think you have to in this industry. I don't think you take anything for granted or, you know, be an arsehole about it. I think you've just got to be like, oh, I'm really lucky I'm earning money in, in this job. Um, I mean, you know, a lot of the jobs you turn up and you get, have a cup of tea made for you, it's not that hard. <laughs> um, so I feel, I felt lucky then, I feel lucky now. Um, I feel lucky in a broader way that we've managed to keep the industry motoring along. I was in one of the first shows back after lockdown and I, I just thought, oh, thank God we're all still, it's not actors, it's everyone. Crews are huge on these shows. It, this is a place of work for lots and lots of different people. So, yeah, that was important. And you've done so much for women in television and film and playing the characters that you play. Do you feel like you're paving the way a little bit and uh, compared to where we've come from with women taking these big characters on? No, I don't think so. I think female actors have always done that and have always wanted to do that. It's funny, I'm reading Eileen Atkins' autobiography at the moment, which she must do, it's really, really funny. And I think that's always in a female actress. That's, they're the same, we're all the same. Men and women are the same, apart from women are probably smarter than men. <laughs> I can do more things at the same time. Um, but of course, we've always been aspirational wanting to be James Bond or Jason Bourne or, you know, Helen paved the way in Prime Suspect. So it's the same. We've wanted the same. It's now nice that the industry is delivering that, those opportunities. And if James Bond was a woman, what would you think about that? Oh, no. I love the last James Bond. Yeah. And just finally, are you ever bored of people asking about one of GT? Does it ever get boring? No, because I just feel really like, when I was doing it, I thought, God, this is absolutely brilliant fun. I'm loving this, loving it, loving it, loving it. You know, you learn those massive interview scenes. They're such a thrill to do. You film them all in one shot. Um, so it's like doing a play, really. And then you, you know, and I, you're playing a right cow. Uh, I just had such a good laugh doing it. Did your kids watch that, by the way? And did, are they scared of you now? <laughs> because no, they hate me more in Motherland because I'm so... I can't use that word. Not allowed to use that word anymore. What word am I allowed to use? I'm a little bit deranged in Motherland and unhinged and, uh, and out of control. And they don't like that. They don't like seeing that. But quite a cool mum, right? You are the coolest mum. No! <laughs> God, no. And when I look, yeah, no, they just don't like seeing that because that's like just your mum. But also, they don't like what. You know how that show makes you cringe, like feel embarrassed, like, oh, stop it, stop it, stop it now, stop it, you're embarrassing yourself. I don't think they like seeing that, me embarrassing myself.